Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I will be giving you guys a tour of my baby boy's nursery. I just thought it would be fun to show you guys everything and let you guys know where I bought certain things just in case you guys are curious and want to know. Um, I am recording this off of my phone as you could see. I don't have a camera and I wouldn't even know where to begin filming a video with the camera. So I apologize if this video isn't super high quality, but I still thought it would be fun to just record this before baby boy is here. Um, I will start with the changing station slash dresser area. Um, that dresser is from Ikea. It comes with black hardware. Um, we just swapped it out with these wood little um, knobs from Amazon. Up on top, I have a changing pad that I ordered off of Amazon. The cover is from Etsy. Um, this round wooden mirror is from Target. I believe I paid probably, I think it was $59.99. And I got it, I want to say maybe like three months ago. So it should still be in stock in store. Over here in this corner, I just have this little candle I found also on, I think, yeah, Target. I just thought it'd be cute and match the room. I have my hatch machine, and then I have my little caddy with um, diapers, changing, I mean, butt paste, lotion, more lotion, wipes. I have a swaddle and a little teddy. I like to have this up on top just because I think it's so much faster if I'm changing baby, I just could reach over um, and get what I need right away. Down in this corner, I have a basket I bought at Home Goods, and then I just have some of his big warm blankets rolled up in there. Um, let me show you guys what I have in the drawers. The first drawer I have his little socks. I have some mittens. Back here, I have all of his little beanies. These acrylic. Everything that you see in the video, acrylic, I bought at Home Goods. Um, I think Marshalls and TJ Maxx also carries these. But I just like how organized it looks and how nice and neat it also looks. I'm done in this second drawer. I have his brushes. I have some rattles, some toys. I have some creams, um, I have a passy. These are some chargers for the sound machines and my breast pump. All the way in the back, I have all of the ultrasound pictures that we've ever gotten from him. Just have them safely back there. So that's the second one. Third drawer, I have some lotions. I have some butt paste. These are, um, this is, oh my god, I love this thing. I got it for Olivia as well. It's an adapter to apply diaper cream. It's just the coolest thing. I have a big size and then I have a little small one that I'm going to throw in his diaper bag. Back here I have more butt paste and some little baby perfume and baby oil. This last one on top, I have, these are all newborn size diapers. I know babies don't wear size newborn for a long time. I think for Olivia, I use newborn for maybe like a, less than a week. But I just put these up on top with some creams and then some diaper bags. We do have a diaper genie. I think this is an Ubi. Um, but sometimes it's just easier for me to use these little diaper bags. So that's that. Down at the bottom or the middle drawers, I have, I just put some of his shoes on this side and then all of these are size zero to three or three to six. I just figured it'd be easy um, if I just had one size, you know, so I don't have to like be wondering, oh, what size is this one or what size is this one? These are all clothes that he's gonna be able to wear as soon as he's born. Um, three, I know babies are usually like in a, size three to six from the time that they're born. But I do have some zero to three just in case. In the next drawer, I just have some neutral looking clothes. I thought it looked cute. I have um, some onesies, some little pants, and then some little outfit sets at the, at the end. And then down at the bottom, this is like my everything drawer. Um, I just, it's items that don't have a home. So I just threw everything in this drawer as like backup things. Um, back here, I have some 
lotions and some matte shampoo. I have medicine. I have more packs of like gift sets lotions um extra bottles that are the big size i won't be needing them till later on i need to throw these in the freezer they're um breast like gel breast gel packs frozen gel packs um i have this is his little pillow that i need to put in his crib for when he's here i have the haka silicone breast milk collector that i'm excited to try and that's everything for down here. Oh my goodness. I am so out of breath. Um, this last drawer, I have some backup big blankets. I have his towels. And then I have all of my breast pump items. I actually sanitized this morning and they're ready to go. Back here, I have some washcloths and then some swaddles, some extra swaddles back there. I figured I'd put everything in this little acrylic container so when I'm done breast pumping, I could just throw everything in there and then it'll be fast, easy, and fast way to just take everything back downstairs to be sanitized. And that's it. Moving on to the side of the room, I have my breastfeeding milk little corner. The chair um, is from Amazon. It was actually gifted to me as the anniversary gift for my husband. It had been sold out for a while and then one morning he got lucky and he found it. So he ordered it for me and got it delivered here to the house. I love the color. It's so comfortable. The throw I have over it is from Home Goods. The curtains are blackout curtains. I ordered these off of Amazon. Um, I think I paid maybe like $30 for the set, but they're actually really good blackout curtains. Up on top, my husband is the cutest. He made this shelf and he added some of his favorite Baja things. I have a con empty container, a gas container. He got this little Baja, um, little, I don't know what to call it, uh, helmet. And then we printed out this picture and then just threw it at Threw it on a Ikea, um, an Ikea frame. So that's his little corner. I think it's so cute. It has his own, he has his own little touch from dad. Um, down over here is his crib. The crib is from Ikea as well. Um, i trying to remember where I got the mattress um, cover from. I can't remember, but up on top I have the Snuggle Me Organic Breastfeeding Pillow, and I found this second pillow at Target. I thought it was cute as well, and it matched the colors. Up on top I have these three frames. Um, the frames I got from IKEA. I believe I paid, I want to say maybe like twenty dollars for each frame. The prints inside I ordered off of Etsy. I think it was like three of them for $30 and then I just sent them to my local print shop and then I put them right in and it gave the room a nice little desert theme touch and down over here on this side I have his bookshelves and this head that was given to us um, by my dad that it was so cool and it matched the room great so I put it right there um, down in the corner, I have this basket with all his little teddies. And then here on this side, I have his closet. Uh, so this is just like a standard closet with just the one, um, what is it? What was it called? It was just like a one section closet. But I figured since his clothes is so tiny, we could add two. So um, we added that shelf, as you could see, and then we added another pool for more extra clothes. Um, I only washed, for now, the size that he's going to be wearing. So like 0 to 3, 3 to 6, I washed. The rest, that's like towards the back, are items that I have not washed because they're just bigger in size. Down at the bottom, I have this basket I got at Target for his laundry. In the middle, I have... This little basket with a swaddle, a carrier, and some bibs. I have some 
book plots and then back here i have a collection of his books that were actually steve's when he was little so i just have those right there up on top i have more baskets i think this one is from ikea um home goods and target and i just have some like just random items in there that i won't be needing right away um, but i just know they're in there for easy access so that is the closet uh, I think that is it. Um, hopefully I didn't forget anything, but if I did, let me know. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.